Making GoPro videos, especially when you're on vacation, can be super fun if you focus on transitions. So today, in this video, I wanted to share with you seven simple, seamless GoPro transitions that you can put into practice on your upcoming vacation or your next travel vlog. Let's get stuck into it. Transition number one is the POV real-time to time warp transition. Oh. Oh my gosh, this place is unreal. Now, I recommend getting this transition over and done with early on in your vacation. If you have an empty beach, this is perfect because you do look a bit weird whilst you're doing this one. So you go into your time warp settings. The shorter the time warp, the lower the setting. So I chose to use a time warp uh, interval of 10, 10 times. We start in real time, we create our POV motion, then we time warp and we move into our subject. Number two is the POV clap transition. Super simple to do. All you're gonna need is a bite mount and a buddy. <laughs> so once you've got your bite mount set up on the camera, you just have to shoot in super view. I tend to use the super view digital lens because it's a little bit more immersive for point of view perspective. And then once the bite mounts in, find a friend and high five as many people as you can and cut on the high five. <laughs> Number three is the splash transition. We have seen this time and time again in so many rad videos. It's so simple to do. All you have to do is get your GoPro, hold it out like this in selfie mode or have someone holding the camera and just flick the water towards the camera and cut as soon as that splash hits the lens. Next up is what I like to call the wide to tight. Now you can do this either way, tight to wide, but I like it wide to tight. Now, all you have to do is have a subject performing the exact same motion in two shots. The first shot you film in wide, I tend to lean on super view for that first shot. And the second shot you film in either narrow or linear or wide, but you just come a little closer. So because we don't have any zoom on this lens, we just make sure our subject's further back and then we come a little closer. Let's have a look at it. On the topic of transitions, one of the biggest switches I made in my personal creator journey was taking my GoPro videos and a load of content that I had just spread thin across the internet and consolidating it in the one place, in one beautiful professional website. Now, if you are looking to do the same, if you're a content creator, a filmmaker, and you don't have a portfolio website, I highly recommend that you just put all of your work in a beautiful website. And the coolest part about this video is that it has been sponsored by the amazing team at Zyro. They have hundreds of designer-made templates covering all types of niches like photography and filmmaking, creating an epic portfolio website to house your best content Content and attract potential clients can be very simple. Zara is a drag and drop intuitive grid based editor, no coding or extensive design skills needed. And it's also hands down the most affordable option in the market. When clicking the link in the description or using my code, Jake Rich, you can get an additional 10% off Zyro yearly plans and a free domain for a year. Build your website starting from $2.61 a month. Transition number five is the jump transition. Now I like to do this with POV because it's just easy and I can film it myself. All you have to do for this transition is simply create two jumps, but make sure that you can see your feet in the shot. So to make this happen, I like to use super view and have the camera angled down so we can see my feet. I perform the action twice, two different locations, cut in the middle. The 
The second last transition is your classic active vlogger transition. Now this is a three part transition, super simple. All you have to do is set the camera up on the ground on a little tripod, run towards it, jump over it, and you make the cut when you make the jump. Now the final transition, which is a super fun one, I like to call this pass the baton. Think of it like you're running a 400 meter, 4x400, that kind of thing. All you have to do is simply get a selfie shot, have one person sitting down and snatch the camera off. Guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you have enjoyed it, do punch that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, and uh, make sure you head down to the top link of the description to check out Zyro. Um, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Jaya, peace. I don't want you to